here they are, our next two candidates we are going to play with. Huh? I said, now we are going to make some noise. Hello and welcome to the noise factory. This here are two buzzers, they are called. Why they are called buzzers? We will see. One of these buzzers is a so-called active buzzer and the other one is a passive buzzer. Yeah. Which is which? We will see if we apply voltage. Yeah. So, let's see. Ground plus 5 volt. Apply here and apply here. Ooh. Okay, so that's the active buzzer. You see, I just apply 5 volts and I can hear a beep. It's not it's inconveniently loud, I have to say. I will cover it with the sticker it originally came from. It's better? Yes. We can still hear it. Now we'll remove it. Ah! Give it disco! Bust. This is the active buzzer. As soon as, soon as I give it some voltage, huh? it will start to beep with a certain frequency. We hear it, we heard it, beep, 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 beep. This here is the passive buzzer. Now let's see what this is doing. Uh -huh. Not much, right? I will try to bend to the active buzzer so that you, you hear it a little bit better. Huh? Click, clack, click, clack. That's it. Not very much. Yeah. This is because this only makes this membrane in there only makes movement according to the voltage. If the voltage gives a certain frequency, this will swing in a certain frequency. So if I it's clicking. Yeah? Here I have to give a certain frequency, here it's enough to apply voltage. I think it's rather easy. It's rather easy to, to guess how to control them. So I will now make the mass connection, the ground connection. On both. Good. And here I will use this output number three. Okay. So that's it now for the for the passive passive uh, for the active sorry for the active uh, buzzer. Okay. That was the hardware setup. Safety is under decent name. Which number? 19. Passive buzzer. Okay. So, define bus pin. Bus pin is bus 3. And I, of course, say the pin mode of bus pin is output. Yeah. And I will then say 
uh, digital right pass pin high now it would make a noise then I will make a delay 500 yeah. then I will make it low then I will delay One thousand. Okay. Let's hear how this is sounding. What is it? Invalid free processing directive. Define it. Def define. Yeah. Okay. Typo. 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 This is it, okay? So you can either turn it on and off and you hear, you can make it faster or not that fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will disconnect here because phew, nobody wants to hear this. So for instance, 500. And I will make it 1000. Let's hear how this is, how this is sounding. Yeah, exactly as we would expect it. Yeah, for me it's a little bit, for me it's a little bit too long. I will simply modify this. Yeah. Download. Upload. <laughs> I will never get used to this. Okay, this is how it sounds now. Okay, one thing we could do with this, yeah, we could use Morse code. Yeah, so you could use Morse code and Morse your 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 name, for instance, or SOS. This would be this would be your task. Okay. Use the active buzzer and make some Morse code. Yeah? You could use SOS, short, 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 long, 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 short, short, short. You could use your name, yeah? whatever you like. Just an E is not enough. <laughs> so this is the goal now for the passive buzzer. I'm plugging in. You hear? That's the SOS sign. Okay, so that's the passive puzzle thing. Just some, just some more. Okay, that's the passive puzzle thing. Good, so that's it for the, the passive puzzle. Let's come to the active puzzle. Yeah, I said, okay, there is a this certain frequency uh, maybe someone could get could come to the idea and say okay I am using save under this name save as 20 active buzzer yeah some could say, okay, oh, you don't use digital right, I use analog right. Yeah? So let's hear how this is how this is doing. Yeah? So we'll make an integer. Yeah? Then we'll make a for loop for i is zero, i smaller than two hundred, smaller or equal, no smaller than two hundred fifty-five. Yeah? I plus plus and analog analog right right pass pin I 
Okay, so climb up. Here we delay only 100 milliseconds. So every 100 milliseconds we should get another tone. Okay, and then away with this. Then we have to go down from 255. bigger than zero, minus, minus. So what, what we would expect now is to hear a tone from this. Yeah? Let's hear. It's always the same tone. It's always the same tone. Okay. Why is that? Because if you remember what I've said at the analog outputs, they are working with a constant frequency. The only thing which we are changing is the load cycle, so the, the cycle between the pause and the length of the... But it's working with a certain frequency around 500 Hz. And this what we hear now is around this 500 Hz. Okay? And because it's sometimes it's loud, it's not that loud. It depends on on the ratio of the of the uh, simply on the ratio of the pause and the length. Okay. So this is not working. This way, it is not working. Okay. There is. Okay. There is a command specifically for that type, and this command, I was also disconnected. Wow, that's annoying. And this command is called tone. Okay. So this time, I will tone yeah, at the bus pin, yeah. and now here we have to write the frequency. Yeah. So this time I will start at 30 Hz and I will go up to 4000 Hz. Yeah. Let's make a delay. Yeah. And there is to stop, I have to write no tone. Okay. Here we are ramping up. The same thing I'm using to ramp down I will just remove this note on just want to, to ramp it up and here we are going from 5000, 4000 to 30, down to 30 ok, let's download let's hear how this is whistling And you hear? It's getting higher and higher the tone. Yeah. Every time one hertz higher. Okay, but it's always playing. A tone is always playing. If I'm using no tone in between, and then delay again. Well, sounds like it would explode every minute, yeah? every second. Download. Pass, uh, it's not pass out, of course it's not pass out, it's pass pin. Let's see how, how this is sounding. You hear now it's separate tones, there's a pause in between. This is what this no tone is doing.
You hear? Yeah, so that's the passive buzzer. So the passive buzzer needs a little bit more effort in coding, but we can do quite something. Yeah? Your task is now to play a little tone. It must not really be a melody. Yeah, but maybe try to, to play a tone letter. Yeah? Do re mi fa sol la si do. Do re mi fa sol la si do. Yeah, this is why I'm a technician and not a singer. Okay, and this is now the goal of our melody, of our passive buzzer. Release the reset button. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, should not be, should not be exactly that melody or say exactly some melody, but it should get you a hint that I uh, you understand what you're doing. Okay. Passive buzzer. This is the goal. Yeah, so that's about making some, some noise, okay? This thing here, yeah? Yeah, we could use it as a bark sensor, uh, pretty easy, yeah? If here something is close, measure the distance somehow, we will get to know how to measure the distance, measure the distance and manipulate the tone and the height of the tone. Ooh, ah, alarm, alarm, alarm! Yeah? Yeah, so that's about the, the noise making. Uh, next time. Next time we are going to talk about, right now we are turning on and off little, little noise making things. We are turning on and off little, little diodes, something like this. Yeah? What if we want to turn off a little bit more? What if we want to turn off and on I don't know, a heater or a motor or something like this. I mean, I hope, I hope it's clear for you that the output of the Arduino is not really capable of, of, of running a washing machine or a heater or I don't know. There is not, I mean, what is the maximum current here? Five millivolts or something like this? Yeah, well, it should, it's too less simply, yeah. So we need to, to somehow uh, uh, make it stronger. And this is the thing we are talking about next next time. How to switch a, a thing which may switch some stronger or some more power. Mm -hmm. So that's the topic next time. For this time, uh, thank you very much for listening. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs>